This is our second week of blood vessels. We've been talking about the cardiovascular system for quite some time now. Um, we've done the heart, we've done the blood. Last week, we had introduction to the histology of blood vessels, um, some detail on all three of these types. Um, and this week, we're gonna first zoom into the capillaries and look at bulk flow of fluids across the capillaries and how things move across them. Um, then we'll look at blood pressure regulation as well. So we've talked about how important it is to regulate blood pressure. We'll look at how that happens this week via the, um, guess what, the endocrine system, the nervous system, and there's also some autoregulation. So within the tissues that occurs. This is a capillary I've got with me here. Um, look how cool that is. So a single red blood cell, cell, they fit single file, um, actually see a little bit better here, that they just barely fit to those capillaries. So this is red blood cells traveling in a capillary within some tissue, so the interstitial fluid um, space around here. I just want to remind you of where we are in terms of circulation. Um, we are looking at the capillaries today, or starting with, with that, and that is, right, it's primarily the systemic circuit. Same ideas apply to pulmonary, and we actually will come back to looking at the passage of capillaries through the pulmonary circuit when we get to respiratory system. We'll come back to that. So we'll kind of focus on the, the tissues of the body. And at that location, why do I have this graph here? Well, let's have that come up, come on. Pressure is very low, um, fairly low in the capillaries. So and that's important for this exchange of what? Oxygen, carbon dioxide, as well as glucose, tons of waste. We're not going to look at all of those separately, but lots of stuff. And then also fluids. So we'll look at, we'll look at how fluids are passed. Um, but just so you orient where we are, we are right here in this kind of low pressure, fairly consistent pressure, but we're going to talk about the pressures that drive movement across the capillaries. We will zoom into looking at like pressures the, the right here, for example, that allow for flow. Okay, that's this week for you.